All right, Richard Southern is here back with us in studio once again. It's my this favorite is, three minutes of the day here, It's Erica. so much fun. Yeah, it's nice to have a little bit of a lighter part of our newscast here. But so we're talking about the interesting stories of the day, and we're starting with uh, this. So the weather su is going to be cooling down soon. It was but that a, it was sweater weather today. You it, have a yeah, nice sweater I on. I have a nice uh, uh, blazer on. Yeah. Um, doesn't necessarily mean our drinks will be cooling down, though, Richard. I found this really interesting. Starbucks recently said, Erica, that cold coffee drinks, iced coffee drinks, account for 75% of sales during the summer months at Starbucks. In the winter, 60% of all drinks sold at Starbucks iced coffee. So no, no matter the time of year, they're selling more cold drinks than hot coffee drinks. Isn't that something? I have to admit that in the wintertime, I do get those ice drinks too. So, Erica, you have yeah. an, uh, a fish, you're an uh, aficionado when it comes to uh, ice yeah. caramel macchiatos. That, that is my drink of choice. I don't know how you afford it, Erica. <laughs> Uh, Starbucks, though, says the popularity of <laughs> popularity of cold <laughs> drinks due to the Gen Z crowd, the younger kids. National Coffee Association says one in five people under the age of 40 drink at least one iced coffee a week. And it's, you know, it's not your old school iced coffee where you just brew it, you pour it over ice. They actually brew it now to intended right. to be consumed cold, mm -hmm. and it gives this different flavor profile. I don't do it. It doesn't hit the same way. You gotta I like try my hot a cold coffee. brew. Just try it one day. I'm not trendy like enough to do that. <laughs> you know? we'll, we'll get you a nice coffee. Or I two. need a lot of work there. Okay, an Ontario shopper was horrified to find a little extra green in her green salad. It's kind of creeped Ooh. me out. She was going to buy her spring mix at Sobeys, and look what she found in there. Where, where is it? It's a frog. Oh my goodness. A live frog, Erica, blending in there. Look at that little guy. Yeah. He blended is, in so well. It's a chameleon. Well, at least he had something to eat in there. I don't know how long he was in there for, but this is London, Ontario. A woman goes to Sobeys, looks to get some salad for dinner, finds this little guy, brings it to the store staff, uh, later revealed that the frog is very much alive and well. In fact, the store manager kept the frog as a pet. He had an aquarium oh. already set up. Okay. It's okay, though, even if it was let go, because it's a northern leopard frog, which is native to Canada, very common in Ontario. But um, that leaves me now thinking, I gotta start uh, washing this stuff when I take it home. <laughs> you really do, you gotta inspect that stuff. I wouldn't want the frog go hopping no, around like that. No, that frog was probably just as confused as the woman was. <laughs> what am I doing in here? It was marked down, though, which is good. Three ninety-nine. Oh, good. good deal. Yeah, it's not special. Okay, uh, you and I both wear glasses from time to time, but this final story might make us think twice. Yeah, apparently gone are the days, Erica, where, you know, glasses make you look smart. You know, that would be. Brainiac, you have the glasses on? No, not anymore. A new study out of Jordan finds uh, wearing glasses makes people look less attractive, less smart, less confident. Uh, I don't know if that's true or not. I though. would challenge that I would assertion, too. yes. I think it's very, it's classy. I love glasses. Yes, people wear them. They don't even have to wear them anymore. They wear glasses just for fashion. But that's right. Uh, glasses have never been more prevalent. 75% of adults use some sort of vision correction and 65% of them wear glasses. The story was done on Jordanian college students, so maybe there's a different sort of cultural thing going on. Perhaps. I'm on I, I've been wearing glasses since I was three years old. I didn't even know that you wore glasses until you told me. <laughs> See, I don't think they look so good on camera because I got the big, thick glasses, so I'm they like, They look ah. great. I, I, I'm supportive of glasses. Anyone who wears glasses, don't listen to that study. So We're smart. We're yeah. attractive. There you go. Yeah. Okay, thanks, Richard. See you tomorrow. <laughs> See you in glasses, maybe. <laughs>